Okay, we are in control flow, the most interesting part of any programming language. Well, assume um, that you have two numbers. You have taken two numbers from the user A. You have taken that number from the user using input. Uh, I have not supplied the input message here. Uh, the message is optional. It's a description. If you supply that, that's okay. If you don't supply even that, that's okay. So A is some number the user will supply when the code will run. B is some number the user will supply when the code will run. Now, once you have A and B in front of you, obviously the user will supply that on the fly. You don't know what the value of A and B are because when the program will run, only at that time, the A will be populated and B will be populated. Your task is whatever the value of A is that you, that you don't know, whatever the value of B is that you don't know, the user will supply that those values. Your task is to print the value that is bigger than both. So for example, if A is bigger than B, then print A. If B is bigger than A, then print B. So whatever the bigger value is, print that value. Let's say that's your task. How can you do that? So the question is how? Does Python allows us? Does Python allow us to do that? Um, for example, if A is bigger, then we should print A. If B is bigger, then we should print B. Remember, again and again, we are we are talking in terms of if A is bigger. If so, this is this is this is what if A is larger than B, then this condition will be true. This is like the comparison. So this is true. But then we must have an if condition as well. Uh, if A is bigger, then do what? So if A is bigger than B, then do certain things. Otherwise, don't do that, those kind of things. So this if condition is really, really powerful and is available in all programming languages. Um, in here, for example, let's see if A is an input, B is an input writing an if condition that's if is a keyword that's a comparison that we have done earlier as well and then the syntax required a colon in front of that so if this condition is true if this result if this comparison results true remember the comparisons they return boolean values if this comparison if this uh, whatever the result of this operation is if that is true then you go into this block um, and whatever the statement inside is do that. For example, print B is greater than A. Um, now my question is, is that, is, is that done? Are we done with the task? The task was to print the bigger number. If B is greater than A, then B will be printed. Then, or, or, or we might have printed, for example, we might have printed, rather than writing this, we might, might have printed, let's say, just print B because B is bigger. Um, if B is not bigger than A, what will what we will do then? So yeah, if B is bigger than A, then B will be printed. Yes, because then you will be inside here. If B is not bigger than A, if this condition is false, we will do what then? So that's a question. So right now I'm just coding this in Jupyter Notebook and then we will see how can we deal with that if B is not bigger than A kind of condition. So let's first see the blessings of if condition in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, yeah, so let's say A is an integer. Let's say you're expecting an integer input, input, let's say. And then you write if, well, let's say B is again an integer input maybe. And let's say if A is greater than B, then print A. That's it, that's your program. Remember um, this indentation. I have not written this print here. This is the indentation that defines the block of A. Let's say if I want to print A, then I want to print, let's say I am still inside if condition condition and so whatever that starts from this whatever that starts from whatever that starts from uh, this alignment 
if I write something here, let's say uh, x is equal to 5, all that block, all that block is called the body of the if condition, if it starts from this alignment. If, however, I, I type a statement, but I type that statement in that kind of alignment, the alignment like this, this is no longer inside the if condition. So, for example, here I type, I am outside the if condition. So the purpose of writing these multiple lines is just the if condition does not require to contain only one line of code. It can contain um, a whole block of code, multiple lines of codes. So this is no longer inside the if condition. So now we will take input A, input B, whatever the numbers will be. If the value in A will be larger than B, then this will be printed and this will be printed. Once these two are printed, then this has to be printed regardless of the values of A and B because this does not, this last print statement, it does not depend upon, this does not depend upon the values of A and B. It has, the if condition has no impact on that. That is just a sequence of statements. The if condition, the statement inside the if are just these two. For example, if A is not bigger than B, then neither this will execute nor this will execute, but this will still execute because this is this has nothing to do with if condition. So let's run this code and see uh, how it works. So let's see the value of a. See the power of descriptions. If we could have written a description, then the description could have been uh, could have appeared here. But let's say this is the value of a. Let's say twelve. The value of b. Let's say um, let's say ten. In this particular case, uh, because the value of B is 10, the value of A is 12, 12 is bigger than B if this condition is true, this statement becomes true. Whenever this condition becomes true, you are inside the prints, you are inside the if condition. Now this print executes and you, you get 12, this print executes and you get, um, I am still inside the if condition and this has to execute no matter what the values of A and B are. So now let me rerun this and give other values of A and B. Let's say the value of A is 10 and the value of B is let's say 45. Now this, condi this condition becomes false because uh, 10 is greater than 45. This is not true, this is false. So whenever this condition is false, you never land inside the if condition and you go out from the if condition. So these are the statements that are inside the if condition. They cannot execute because, because you never visit them. They can only be executed if the if condition becomes true. So then once you're out the if condition, that's the statement that is going to be executed anyways. So yeah, so that's the flavor of if condition or decision making. And this is the comparison operator that returns a Boolean value. You may have different kind of comparisons here or combination of comparisons here, no, no problem, depending upon your logic. But the question is, are we done? We are going to print only the bigger number. We have, we have printed the one that is, uh, if A is bigger, we have printed that. What if, if B is bigger? Uh, we have not solved the task yet. This is the task, we have not solved the task yet. So, how to do it? Okay, so, yeah. Uh, it looks like complicated. How to print only that number that is bigger? So if B is bigger than A, then we will print B. Maybe maybe we should may, maybe we should apply another if condition. If B is bigger than A, then print B. If A is bigger than B, then print A. Maybe. Um, yeah. Why not? So. Um, so for example, let's go to Jupyter Notebook and, and write the following. Um, let, me, let me write a whole new program here. Uh, A equals int input. Okay, let's do not have a message. Int input and then if a is bigger than B, then print A. Okay. However, if B is bigger than A, then print B. 
I guess we are done. If this condition becomes true, then we are here. And we know if this condition becomes true, then this condition cannot become true because it cannot happen that A is bigger than B as well as B is bigger than A. This cannot happen. So whatever the bigger number will be, that will be executed. Further, you can see I have this if condition and this if condition, they are aligned in a way that this if condition is not, this, the second if condition is not inside the body of the first if condition. Um, we will see such a cases, such cases when this is required, but right now, I guess we are done. If A is bigger than B, then print A. If B is bigger than A, then print B. And only one of these if conditions will become true because A is bigger than B, B is bigger than A. These two statements cannot be true at the same time. So let's see. So A is 10, B is 45. So the answer is 45. Wow, because 45 is bigger. So let's run it again. So A is let's say 22, B is let's say 4. And the result is 22 because 22 is bigger. I guess we are done with the task. Um, we have used this if condition twice to achieve the task um, to print the number that is bigger and both the numbers we, we, we took both the numbers from the keyboard. Um, yeah, I end this video here and in the next video, I will tell you more uh, features of this if condition, particularly the else statement. What, I, what we have done recently with another if could, could be achieved through an else statement that is uh, more powerful, more readable. So in the next video, I will talk about else statement, which is a part of if. So hope to see you in the next video.